Director Freddie Terza of VP Racing and Fuels. Uh, Freddie, we want to thank you for uh, for uh, making this good product, VP Racing and Fuels, and sponsoring the series. Uh, tell us a little bit about what y'all got coming out next year. Well, listen, I'd like to, first of all, I'd like to thank you for a fantastic season. You, you did a great job. We, uh, we appreciate your use of our product. We support the series. New on the horizon for VP, just want to touch base on some of our new products this year that we're we have debuted our C9. It's an unleaded conventional style race fuel that works extremely well in a crate style engine. You know, for years and years, a lot of guys have been using a uh, conventional style 110 fuel. With your application, with the crate programs, we've come out with a lot of new fuels, and one of them is our new C9, which is really user friendly for the grassroots engine guy the racer. It doesn't take a whole lot. It doesn't take a lot of modifications. So I think it would be very, very interesting to see some more car, cars run on that fuel this year. Everybody make sure to check out this new fuel new fuel by VP. Uh, Mr. Terza, where can we find y'all on the internet? You, know, you, you can get to us through, through, through our website, uh, vpracingfuels.com. It gives you the, the master list of fuels. It gives you everything that's going on with VP. It gives you a lot of race results, which is something that's really good to look at. So come to our website, check us out. If you'd like to talk to me directly, my phone number's there. Uh, there's a couple different other websites for different applications and different styles of racing. Uh, come visit us and uh, let's see if we can help you guys. I'm here with Bill Martins of Chevrolet Performance. Uh, Bill, first of all, we want to thank you for being part of the Naismith Series. Uh, tell us a little bit about what y'all got coming up in the future. Well, I'd be glad to. First of all, uh, congratulations on your championship. Uh, that's a big accomplishment, so I know you had a good season, and we, we appreciate you running the crate engine. Uh, the, uh, as far as kind of one of those uh, unusual situations in that we're not really changing the sealed crate engine uh, there's not a lot new. We work on continuous improvements on quality, durability, but because the engine's been out there for 10 years, we're really not changing much uh, at all of the specs. We try to keep the field level, and to do that, we don't change anything. Right, Bill. They are very durable engines. We've run one, actually an older engine all year this year, and, and we want to thank you all for that. And once again, uh, tell us where we can reach all that. Well, the best way to find out any information about any of the products from Chevrolet Performance, we used to be known as GM Performance Parts, but we changed our brand. So we're under the Chevrolet Performance brand now. You can go to our website, which is you can get to either on ChevroletPerformance.com or you can shortcut it and go to ChevyPerformance.com. Hey everybody, this is uh, Chase Washington, weekly race series champion with Nee Smith. I'm standing here with uh, Mr. Jim Hyland. Uh, tell us a little bit about what we got going on here at Bill Stain with, with $135 shot package. Chase, I'd be happy to. Um, last uh, winter, uh, Mike Vaughn from uh, the Nee Smith series kind of gave us a little challenge and uh, asked us if we could build a uh, top qual quality shock uh, that would cost $150 or less. Uh, for you guys to run in the Dirt Late Model Series. And uh, we, we took on that challenge, went to uh, East Bay, and uh, David Gentry was gracious enough to uh, put some faith in us. And uh, he ran a non-adjustable sealed up steel Bilstein at East Bay. We gave him 10 valvings. I think we actually uh, revalved one of the shocks and uh, tried an 11th valving. But uh, we ended up in three nights of racing with 59 cars. He got the fastest qualifying lap down there. Uh, ran second uh, in one of the A-mains. And then um, uh, at Albany, Georgia, a short time later, David started ninth uh, and uh, ended up winning that race from uh, ninth and uh, passed some uh, very expensive shock packages with a shock that sells for $135. So uh, David ended up the season uh, with three uh, fast times, I think, uh, three features wins. Uh, uh, he missed the uh, points championship by only six points. 
All right, well, Jim, I want to thank you for being with us here today uh, and, and Bill Steen, and we look forward to having you all in 2013. And uh, tell us a little bit about where we can contact you at. You can uh, contact uh, Bill Stein. Uh, our uh, corporate phone number is 858-386-5900. You can call me personally. I'll give you my cell phone number. It's area 704-907-4167 or contact Tim Sims at the Neesmith uh, series. And uh, hey, I wanna, wanna thank uh, the people at Neesmith for allowing us to do this. You know, at the end of the day, I was a racer. I wanna see racing continue. And this is our way of, of I think, trying to ensure that the racing keeps going, giving you guys a quality product at a price that doesn't break the bank. On uh, behalf of Matthew Turner and myself, uh, we would like to thank Nee Smith for uh, giving us the opportunity for something to race for and come up here and enjoy this great show. Uh, if there's anybody out there looking for a good series to run in 2013, uh, Nee Smith would be a great one to run. We've had a blast doing it and uh, hope to have a lot more fellow competitors join us next year. If you have any questions about uh, technical things, you, could, you should get on neesmithracing.com. Uh, there's a whole list of things and also you can watch all of our races and, and all of our interviews from 2012.